Shure PGX wireless systems bring the superior sound of Shure microphones together with innovative automatic setup features. Here's how to set one up quickly. Pass a loop of the power cord through the strain relief on the back of the receiver and then pass the power plug through the loop. Connect the plug to the jack on the back of the receiver and plug the other end into a standard AC power outlet. The channel display on the front of the receiver will light up. Connect the audio output of the receiver to an input on your audio mixer. Or connect the audio output of the receiver to the input on your guitar amp. For best reception, angle the antennas apart in a wide V. The PGX receiver can find a clear channel automatically. To scan for a clear channel, press and release the channel button on the receiver. When the display stops flickering and displays a number, the scan is complete. Install two fresh AA batteries in the transmitter. If your wireless system is being used with an electric guitar, plug the supplied instrument cable into your guitar and into the body pack transmitter. If you're using a body pack transmitter, you'll need to set the audio gain switch to match what you're plugging into the transmitter. For a lavalier mic, use the mic position. For a head-worn mic, use the mic position unless the user will speak or sing loudly. Most guitars use the 0 dB setting, but some instruments with active electronics have higher output and might require the minus 10 dB setting. Now the transmitter needs to be set to the same channel as the receiver. Turn the transmitter on by pressing and holding the power button until the green LED turns on. Open the transmitter battery compartment. Inside the battery compartment, there's a small dark plastic window. This is the infrared port. On the handheld transmitter, it's on the bottom. On the body pack transmitter, it's inside the battery compartment. Hold the transmitter within 8 inches of the receiver and orient it so the transmitter's infrared port is facing the round sync button on the receiver. Press and hold the sync button on the receiver until the red light stops flashing on the receiver. When the receiver's ready light goes on, the system is ready to use. Close the transmitter battery compartment. Now let's check the audio by talking into the microphone or playing a few chords on the guitar. The audio LED on the receiver should flicker green or amber. If it's red, we need to adjust the gain switch on the transmitter to the next lowest setting. If it's set to mic, switch it to 0 dB. If it's set to 0 dB, switch to minus 10 dB. That's it. If you have more than one PGX wireless system, set all of them to different channels in the same group. Make sure that you leave the transmitters that have already been set on with their infrared ports covered while you set the channels for the remaining systems. That way, you'll avoid duplicating channels. For more information about Shure PGX Wireless, visit Shure.com.